Hi, I'm Jordan Chapman. Hi, I'm Kenneth. I'm Peter Bruns. And I'm McGuire, and we're the Rescue Rovers Zap team. Rescue Rovers is a local nonprofit that takes in dogs from high kill shelters from Utah and surrounding states and brings them here for fosters to take into their homes, train, provide medical care for, and help get adopted. Since the group was founded in 2013, they have helped find homes for over 10,000 dogs. Their group is primarily run through Facebook, using it as their main form of advertisement and communication. Although this method has worked great for them in the past, it's flawed. Fewer and fewer people are using Facebook every year, and the administrative work that they have to do is manual and tedious. It could take upwards of two to three hours just to set up a single adoption event, which is huge because the group is all volunteer based. No one's getting paid for the work that they do. So any way that you could speed up the process really could help more of these dogs get adopted. So through our app, we're hoping to give the group a platform off of Facebook to help advertise these dogs, find the right dogs for the right homes, as well as aid in group management, just with creating those events and managing the users and dogs. Our app is comprised of three main users, the adopters, who should be able to see all available dogs, view upcoming events, and which dogs are attending those events, as well as be recommended dogs that they might be interested in based on their favorites. We also have the fosters, who are able to claim their dogs, manage those dogs, as well as update new information about them, as well as RSVP those dogs for adoption events. And finally, we have our admins, who should be able to advertise their dogs, add new dogs, as well as just do general group management with creating events and managing users. We can use Bert as an example of our dog card. When we pull him up, we can see his sex, his age, his bio, and at the bottom we have even more information about him. If we want to adopt him, we can go up and hit the apply button. Next, we'll look at favoring dogs. So we have Bob and Char as our favorites. We can see them in our favorites dog list. To favorite dog, all we have to do is hit the heart button. We'll go ahead and favorite Aaron, and he'll show up in our favorite dogs list. And they all go to the top. We'll unfavorite Aaron, and see that Aaron is no longer in the favorites list. We also worked on the notification system, so we'll go ahead and look at that. And we can see that there are some new events happening, and we're getting new dog recommendations. So we're getting recommended Bob. We have more than just these, though. We also have toggles to allow the users to decide what notifications they want to get. If we turn them all off, we will no longer receive any notifications. So that's what we're going to check, and we see that there are none. We'll go ahead and, and turn them back onto what they were, and the notifications will pop up just like they were before. And that's what we see. We have another thing we want to show you on the adopter side, and that's our events. Let's go ahead and select that we're going to the Petco Draper event. We can see that Aaron and Jackie Parts are attending and we can RSVP. When we RSVP an event, it gets added to a list of events we are attending. So we can see that we're attending the Petco Draper event. We can see Aaron and Jackie Parts are still there and we can un-RSVP from it to take us off the list. We can also filter our searches. So we have one pulled up for a senior male and it looks like we're gonna get Jetstar from this. So we can go ahead and clear the search to get us a fresh one and we can scroll and see all the fields we have. We have more at the bottom, and if you're wondering what a field is, we can hit the question mark and it'll bring up a tooltip to tell us what that field actually is. And in this case, it's the info for size. So one thing that fosters can do is to add dogs to events. So what we'll do is we'll choose the Petco Orem and we will RSVP Barrett. We then confirm that Barrett is going. From here, we see that we have the success. And when we go back to check this event, the South Jordan Petco, we'll see that Barrett is in the attending dogs. So he's been signed up. Another thing that fosters can do is to claim dogs. However, I will let Kenneth tell you more about that in the admin portion of the demo. We can add a dog by pressing the plus icon on the bottom right. This will give us a form with the attributes of the dog that we can fill out. Once we fill out the form, we can press the submit button and after a bit of waiting time, we will see that our dog, Jeremy, has been added to the application. We can delete a dog by selecting the dog, pressing the edit icon, scrolling all the way to the bottom, and pressing the delete icon. And now the dog has been removed from the application. If a dog does not have a fosterer, as indicated by the red icon, we can assign it a fosterer by clicking on dog, pressing the edit icon, scrolling to the bottom, 
and entering the name of a valid fosterer in our system. Once we press update fosterer, we will see that the dog no longer has the red icon and now has a fosterer. We can change a user's role by selecting the user, selecting the role we want them, saving it, and now you will see the user role has been changed. Deleting users is easy as well. We go down and we find a user that we want to delete. We press the delete icon and the user will be deleted. We can add an event by clicking the plus icon on the bottom right, entering the event information. And then once it's entered, we press publish. The event has been created and now we can see the event has appeared on the calendar and we can click on it and see the details of the event. Before concluding, we would like to briefly go over the system architecture and software practices that we utilized during the project. The front end of the app was developed using Flutter and as was shown in the demo, includes different views for adopters, fosterers, and group administrators. Our backend was developed with the Django REST framework in Python and is currently deployed on an AWS EC2 instance. The backend communicates with the MongoDB database using the Mongo engine package. Every user has the ability to send requests for data or to update information in the database through GET and POST requests, but the update abilities differ depending on user type. For example, only administrators are able to create or delete adoption events. The backend receives these requests, neither retrieves information from the database or updates information in the database. The data or update success status is received by the backend and sent to the front end, which processes the response to display the results. We used GitLab as a task management and version control system for this project. Over the 16 weeks we spent programming, we were able to complete 221 issues with 472 commits to GitLab. We also wrote tests in Django to ensure that requests were received and handled properly. To prevent unintended updates to the database during testing, we used MongoMock to create mock databases specifically for the tests. Over the course of the project, we conducted formal user studies with 11 individuals, four of whom were interviewed multiple times. These users were shown the app for adopters, fosterers, and administrators. The most people would be using the app as an adopter. We did include several users who fit in the fosterer and administrative roles. The feedback from these user studies was used in several ways. We made changes to existing features like removing breed as a filterable option and replacing it with dog size. We used the feedback to decide where to focus development efforts as well. For example, between the alpha and beta release, the user suggested that we focus on the filtering capabilities. We also used the feedback to make the app more intuitive and easier to use. This included moving the button that allows adopters to access their favorite dogs to the hamburger menu as was shown in the demo. We think that this app will provide a good amount of utility to rescue rovers. It will make keeping track of dogs easier for administrators, allow administrators to more easily organize adoption events, allow fosterers to more easily update information about their foster dogs, and make it easier for potential adopters to see upcoming events and find new dogs that match their needs. All of these aspects will increase the likelihood of a good adoption match being found and move dogs through the system more quickly. In the future, we hope to work on making this app more generic so that it could be used for other adoption groups. We think that having an all-in-one dog and event management and adopter outreach system would be very beneficial to any adoption group, and we hope to be able to reach as many groups as possible. We would like to finish by thanking the course staff, the instructors, and TAs for providing guidance during the project. We also want to thank friends and family members for providing support and for participating in the user studies. Finally, we want to thank Rescue Rovers for allowing us to use their organization as a basis for this project. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and we hope to see you on Demo Day to further discuss the project and answer any questions.